50 million albums and had 14 number one singles during his time in one of the most successful boy bands of the 21st century. So life was going pretty well. But it's been all over the news that in the last year he was declared bankrupt and now he's back making music and we are supporting him all the way. Please welcome Shane Filan. <laughs> Thank you. Are Thank you for having Thank me. You. So, yeah. yeah, so West, I mean, you broke up, didn't you, back yeah. last year? Four last four. June, yeah. Wow. So, yeah. was it always on the cards for you? Because you said you would never get together as a band. Was it always on the cards to have a solo career? Or has I, all of that come from, obviously, the financial? I, I think, no, I think, you know, for me, uh, as a singer, being in a band, when we decided we were splitting up, I, I wanted to keep singing, of course. Um, yeah. But, yeah, financially, obviously, I wasn't in a good place either. But I think either way, I would have liked to have, you know, kept singing. Yeah. Um, I was, you know, 31 or 32 and we decided to split up, so I thought it was a bit young to Yeah, yeah there's still plenty of... Yes, and exactly. you know what? It's the best news ever for girls all over the UK. So yeah, it's, right. it's great, you know. It's, the fans have been fantastic, obviously. You know, the amazing support and it's, you know, it's just... I'm delighted to be doing it. I'm delighted yeah. to be first single out at the weekend, so... Exactly. And do you know what? As a bloke, I love it. I he love hasn't stopped. Song. I love Thank this song. You. I haven't stopped singing all, all way, afternoon. <laughs> That's good. That's well, I think it surprised a few people, which yeah, is nice. Very good. Anyway, yeah, we'll talk good. more about that cool. in a little while. Now over eighty. Um, no, <laughs> it must feel quite strange being interviewed all on your own. So, is, yeah. well, we thought, and we we'd make you feel a bit more comfortable. Here we go. <laughs> Is that better or worse? Hi, right, lads. <laughs> a bit quiet. We're back together. <laughs> no, we'll get rid of them. No, we'll you don't need them. them. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's good. No, but this is the strange thing. I mean, we were just talking about it during that film there, that now, because obviously you've left the band, and you, yeah. you know, you were, it was kind of a bit like sort of the Famous Five scenario, where you all had your individual roles. Yeah. And now you're out there on, on your own. So. It is, yeah. It's, it's, you know, it definitely takes a bit of getting used to. You know, it's everything I'm doing now. This is my first, you know, different TV shows you do for the first time. Yeah. I did my first performance the other night. Literally first ever performance on television. You sort of um, wait for someone else to chip in. It was funny because I, I went up on the... We were doing rehearsals during the day and I went up onto the stage and I saw one mic stand there. So that was like, you know, it yeah. just kind of hit me then. It was like, all right, I'm, I'm on my own here, you know. Yeah. But, you know, it's great. It's fresh. I'm, I'm loving it so far, you yeah. know, the support I'm getting off the fans is amazing. So, you know, yeah. just one day at a time. Yeah, well, your first single is fantastic. Max Thank you. a big fan. Um, it's just been described in the press as, here we are, uh, sing-along, sunshine-tinged pop at its finest. But actually, we think it's deeper than that. Uh, yeah. Have a listen, see what you think. I mean, that is a very, you know, clap along, it's a happy song, but I mean, it comes from, you know, obviously you've had a very difficult period of time. Yeah. And, and, the, and all this music has sort of come from the back of that. How, how do you get such a, a happy song out of such a dark situation? I think, you know, for me, I had a, I had a few years there, it was very dark and it wasn't happy at all. Um, but I think when I got the chance to go in writing, I wanted to talk about positive stuff in my life, um, which was, you know, my marriage, my, my kids healthy, you know, me going forward singing, uh, everything to me was the first song, the first session I had for the album, first writing session I had. Yeah. And it was two days after I handed over the keys to my house. So I was in a kind of a, a place where it was like, right, that doesn't matter, that's gone, yeah. everything else is gone, but I have, I have this, I have my kids, I have a yeah. great marriage and I'm happy. And that's the song that came out of it, you know, just, I wanted to write about positive stuff. The whole album is positive, it's all upbeat and stuff that's important to me. It's exactly what the title of the song is, it's, it's yeah. what's everything yeah. to me. And we just showed a lovely picture of you with your I just saw that, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. um, do any of, of the children have this? Uh, yeah, they do, actually. It's funny because the last six months I've been, um, like, playing demos and stuff in the car and, you know, the boys will be singing along to it. But Nic Nicole is probably, you know, she's older, she's eight, so right. she's shown, mm. she, she wants to get, go to stage school. Does she really? Oh, really? And are you encouraging really that or are you kind of saying, funny. Oh, I, I, was, I was playing a bit on the guitar the other day because I'm, I'm, I'm not very good on the guitar, but I was learning some of the parts of my song the other day and she wanted to get guitar lessons. So, so anything I'm doing, whether it's singing, guitar, whatever, she wants to do it. And she's like, can I get a guitar, Daddy? Can I go to stage yeah, school? Yeah, so great. she's definitely 
she's definitely going to be on the stage like to dream. some yeah. degree, I think. Yeah. A little protégé. Hopefully, yeah, you never know. And this is it's part of an EP, isn't it, this, this particular Yeah, thing. it's an EP, yeah. So it's four songs that's coming out on Sunday, and it's basically like a taster of the album. So it gives you kind of a couple of ballads there, a couple of up-tempo songs. But yeah, yeah it's... it's shows what the album's going to be like. Yeah, Brilliant. Okay. And as we just said, there's Shane's new uh, four-track EP, Everything to Me, is out 25th of August on Sunday. In the studio, and it's a pleasure to have you here. Thanks for coming in, Paul. I'm so happy to be here. I really am happy. I Aww. can tell you that. I'm happy. I'm ready to go. <laughs> yes, yes, there we go. Bolt, but will you draw Shane during the next VT for us? Well, Shane's going to be tough. He's a good-looking boy. He's just eyes and teeth. I don't usually draw. I've got to be tough. Listen, okay. I saw you in that group, Westlife. Yeah, that's it. And then three backing singers didn't do you any favours. Yeah. <laughs> three backing singers. Who was the man? Oh, there's no need for that. Who <laughs> was the man? Well, listen, let's keep it a Look at that, Shane. What do you reckon, mate? Yeah. Hey. Excellent. Well, done. well, Shane's EP, Everything to Me, is out this Sunday. And join us tomorrow when the one show is live from Carfa South in Hampshire, where we'll be raising lots of money for children in need. We'll see you then. Good night. Thanks for watching.